We need our deaf kids to be safe. Calling for action, a protest outside of Valley School after a teacher was disciplined over allegations that teacher was mocking a student who is deaf. ABC 15's Venton Blandin is reporting from the Phoenix Day School for the Deaf. Keep our deaf children safe. Concerned parents and children gathering outside the Phoenix Day School for the Deaf. And we want the superintendent or the board or someone to tell us what's going on, what happened with their investigation. Amy Young, like many other parents of the school, claims one of the school's teachers mocked a student who's deaf. Videos later surfacing on social media. Parents allege the teacher reacted to the student making sounds by saying the student sounded like a zoo animal. It makes me mad. It makes me sad. Protect the deaf kids on campus. Marcy Berenberg also has a child in the classroom. It made me angry. It's not okay to hurt these kids. Many parents calling on the teacher to be fired. We also spoke with Talisha Nevins, the mother of the student. I feel very broken. I love this school. I love this school. I know this place where kids should feel safe, but kids don't feel safe here. Nevins using the translator tells ABC 15 this happened November 4th. She's protesting after demanding answers from the teacher and superintendent. I want them to communicate with me. I want them to take action. This is serious. In a statement to ABC 15, a spokesperson for the school says school administration did investigate and did issue disciplinary action against the teacher. Administrators would not go into specifics on the punishment. I feel like it's a slap on the hand. That's not nice. Stop. Don't don't say that. Don't do that. It's OK, but you can go after that. While Talitha Nevis says she feels the disciplinary action is only a slap on her wrist and says more needs to happen, she is hesitant to call for the teacher's firing. That's a strong word, but more and more people come forward, maybe she shouldn't work here. Administrators say in the coming weeks they will have conversations with families about any concerns they may have about their child's experience at school. In Phoenix, Vincent Bland, ABC 15, Arizona.